Wizard Wars season one. What in the world is the experience like of being a magician who judges other magicians? It's weird. It's yeah. really weird. First off, you think like, oh, what, what qualifies me to possibly tell these people how, how good they are? And it's not so much that they're good or bad. It's just more like I get to sit down and watch. I have the privilege to watch the incredible creativity of these incredible performers and then just give some feedback. So that's, it's really amazing. And I'm very lucky to get to see it. It's, I mean, it's incredible. And you got to work with Penn and Teller. Yes. Which, what was that like, by the way? Oh my goodness. There are no words. They're <laughs> completely brilliant. And just to be around their brilliance and hear their insights, oh, it's just priceless. Wait, so your official title was Magic Critic, correct? Yes. So being a magic critic, how do you differentiate between like judging someone's performance? I mean, you can't really tell them it's right or wrong because it's their craft. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But how do you how do you handle that? And watching somebody do something and then coming up with how to tell them it was wasn't just good or bad. It was you know what your feelings on it are. Well, the way that we we're all, all of us judges have kind of a different different things we look at and kind mm -hmm. of a different judging style. And I don't like to look at at, at an act and think like, oh, that was bad or that was good. I like to look at it and think, okay, what was really cool and creative that stood out from other things? And what are things that really resonated with me? So I might see, you know, we might see a dove act, which is, you know, a person, you know, mm -hmm. doing dove appearances and disappearances and things. And I might say, oh, I really enjoyed this particular aspect of maybe how you handled the, the pull here. And then another judge will say, oh, that's interesting. I saw this aspect of it. Hmm. So it's really cool that we all kind of get to see it from different perspectives yeah. and bring a little bit of our own personality in. So it's not like a right or wrong thing. It's more like what resonates with us and what did we find particularly, personally, really creative. That's so cool. And the theme of the show was people had to create acts around random objects. Yes. What was your favorite random object in all of season one? Oh, my goodness. Uh, there were, okay, I have two. Okay. The weirdest one by far were the earthworms from last <laughs> night. Yeah. I would never have thought to use earthworms. When they, they said a puppy, I was like, okay, well, I guess we could use that live object. Mm -hmm. uh, earthworms mm -hmm. is, was crazy. It'd it was, be like way down on the much. list. Oh, my gosh. I would never have thought to use that. But I can't believe what they did with it. It was absolutely insane. In the meantime, while we're waiting to hear about season two, mm -hmm. you're working on Bitchcraft. Bitchcraft. Your YouTube channel. My you Yeah, I co-own it with a friend of mine, Ed and Dranger, who's also a stand-up comedian. Do you have would you have one that you can like tease us about? We we have a couple coming up okay. that are actually gonna be really, really fun. One is I can tell you that it's set in a yard sale. Okay. So you're gonna you're gonna watch kind of a yard sale happen and then there will be some magic. Okay. That's kind of a weird teaser to say. It is weird, but it's one of those things kind of like the theme of the show. Like, it's creative. It's not something mm -hmm. you would expect. Yeah. And this one will be our first kind of street magic-esque thing, because it will be a yard sale on a street. Whoa. Not just in my apartment, hanging out with my pet fruit. Donuts? Pineapples, <laughs> maybe? <sighs> the donut episode. That's coming. <laughs> in the meantime, uh, people can check you out on Bitchcraft. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, we're keeping our fingers crossed for season Ooh, two of Wizard so Wars on Sci-Fi. Yes. And people can follow you on Twitter and Instagram at Kristen Gerhardt. You're amazing. Thank you for joining us. Thank you so much. Congrats and good luck on everything. Thank you.